little change on the channel. Um, I've been working on this fire pit. That's why I haven't been uh, working on my truck as much lately. Um, but I'll give you guys a little tour of the fire pit if you guys are interested. Um, a lot more work than uh, a lot of people are into. But if I want to, if I want to make something, I want to make it uh, fun, entertaining, learn from it. So uh, this fire pit, I'll, sh I'll put some pictures from early on. Um, this is looking off our balcony. Um, this was actually way wider. It was uh, maybe three feet wider on the left side and probably four foot wider on the right side. Um, so I had to dig a, dig it out a lot. And then uh, I wanted a big fire pit um, just for the business. Uh, people can swing by and, uh, I don't know, hang out, socialize. It's uh, nice for our guests. So uh, what I did is I made... All, all the framework out of four by fours and you know plywood um, and then obviously a two by four frame underneath there and then this is just kind of crappy wood I uh, made it so I could screw this in I wanted a fun pattern so basically uh, I don't know how much you guys can see because my GoPro is a little weird uh, but I wanted it there's gonna be a bunch of different uh, stains so all the all the pattern is going to be different and uh, pop out a lot uh, but because I used uh, crappy wood I'll scan back over here um, you can see the woods not all the same level um, so what I did is I run a DA sander over the whole thing and you can tell where I've already done it uh, just to level it all out and then I end up tapering the edges um, that way it kind of makes all the lines pop out also. Um, and it's a process for sure. Uh, as you can see, as I take each board off, basically after I sand it all, I take each board off and uh, it's going in the garage. That way I can stain it and I'm gonna use polyurethane um, on it and that takes forever. If you've ever done it, it's horrible. But uh, when I take a board off, I number it so I know exactly where it goes back to and if, if you can tell I'm at 96 already so I probably have 203 I don't know maybe 350 boards on here something like that um, each side is about 10 foot by 10 by 10 um, it's a process for sure I've been working on this for a long time um, but I still need to sand all these all these flush um, not perfect like I said uh, this this wood uh, because of knots and things, um, they uh, it ends up uh, warping, and it doesn't rain much here, so it hasn't been out in the rain very much. But you also see, I probably would have countersunk this better um, if I if I had to do it all over again. But it is what it is. I think it will turn out fine once it's stained and sealed up. But my biggest problem really is that I have this little tiny air compressor, um, so. It's not really built to run a DA sander on it for a long time. Um, so that's what I'm working on right now. Hopefully today I get to uh, stain. I have one more pile uh, of boards to do. You can kind of hopefully tell that those have like a texture to them. Um, so I hit that with uh, I think 60 grit, something like that. And then this is a uh, 180, just on a DA. Um, so what I'll do is I'll sand all that down, sand all the corners. Um, once I'm done with this stack, uh, I'm probably going to start staining and then work on some other videos uh, of my truck. For now, I'm trying to lay out this wood pattern. Um, so I painted, I painted the bottom of this, so that way I had a nice surface to draw on. So I'll show you, I'll set up my tripod and uh, show you guys a little bit of how I'm going to lay this out.
Uh, I laid out my first eight boards. As you can see, I made a little table so I don't have to do it down here. I also laid out this plastic, so those are all my stacks of boards. Um, I think I got 96 boards. So uh, all together about 300, but uh, I'm gonna use this, this uh, black cherry wood stain. Um, I have a bunch of different wood stains that I'm gonna use on here, but uh, they're all different. They're all different uh, shades. So uh, um, that's why I'm taking them off in sections. That way I don't get mixed up and stain something the wrong color and then have to make a new board. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I'm gonna try the foam. I've done this before with the foam. You can do it with just like a towel or something, but um, I think I'm gonna save my nicer brushes for the polyurethane. Cause the polyurethane, if you never use polyurethane, it takes forever. Um, I think it's like four hours in between coats and 96 boards. I think it needs like 12 coats or something to be outside. Cause I did my truck bed floor. I only did three coats and it tore up way quicker than it should have. So, uh, I'm gonna try to see how many I can do. 12 coats sounds ridiculous. Took a while, uh, probably five hours, six hours of staining. Those are all the boards. That's 96 boards, I think. I'm liking the color. Kind of going with this like uh, red, kind of cherry look on a lot of these. Um, my tips. Uh, I use the Q-tips to uh, get into all the little holes that you can see. Um, just in case this, when the screw goes in, it. I don't want it. You see. Uh, that uh, old wood look. And then also, other tip, wear gloves. I didn't have gloves. I'm going for it. I don't really care. I'll wash my hands a bunch and see what happens. It's stain. It'll stay. Um, I actually didn't even use that much stain. I don't know what you can see in there, but nothing. But I didn't use that much stain. Um, I have probably this one thing of stain is probably enough to do the whole rest of my bench. And I have... I don't know, five or six more of these. So uh, I'll have a ton of extra. Um, stain looks awesome, it's way more fun than sanding. Way more fun. Um, we'll see how it goes tomorrow, later. If you guys like this, let me know what you guys wanna see more of or any more questions. Um, I don't know, I don't know how interested you guys are in this, but uh, I figure I'd make a little section in my channel. Um, I put this one up in case you guys are interested. Um, also, eventually this is all gonna be uh, like paver stones and a big fireplace in the middle. So I, uh, I kind of made this border to hold the paver stones. This uh, area is kind of elevated up off the ground. Um, and then I'm gonna do like a, probably like a corrugated metal on the back or just anything to fill that in. Uh, we have rattler snakes out here, so I'd like them not to be living up under our benches.